I killed some of the followers who uh, were fellow, you know, adventurers who went there because it was important to them. You killed them. Very handily. <laughs> they were too set in their ways to be useful. <laughs> um, oh, no. Boo. Boo, Nick. Boo. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> um uh so upon exiting the necropolis um I, i'm not sure what everyone would do just go go rest or whatnot mm -hmm. yep you need to store some more massive <laughs> amounts of gold somewhere <laughs> <laughs> uh ty um you you would get a notice uh, when you return to the temple um, from your uh, from your old master uh, Temenib, and the notice says uh, uh, basically it's kind of like an invitation. Uh, it says in three days' time there's going to be the grand auction, and it will be held at um, your. You know, the local tavern, which, uh, what, what was it? The Asps Inn? The yeah, Asp Inn. <laughs> yes. I remember it, finally. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? And... I think I assume the messenger that brought it to me. It was Temenib, your tutor. Oh, wow. Mentor. He Damn. brought it to you himself. I give him the raw salute. Thank you. Insert, he... sir. Hmm. <laughs> You've done amazing work, Ty, in keeping our traditions safe and and uh, our relics safe. Uh, I, w I will be there as well at the auction. I'm curious to see what all you have found. Of course. Ra's light guide you, master. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so he'll, he'll leave you to your gold counting. So three days are, are going to pass. Um, so in that time, you guys can do your three days worth of healing, which you heal your level per day. And also, there's other things you wish to do during that time. <clears throat> the city is... Um, the state of the city is, is very buzzing and alive. Um, almost all the merchants are just overloaded with, with all, um, you know, artifacts and treasures and... and gold and stuff um, so it's kind of caused the prices to go down for a lot of the relics mm -hmm. just you know supply and demand <laughs> I'd probably go <clears throat> hunting around and seeing if I could, couldn't find out anything of anyone who could have been interested and getting to that temple of Set beforehand. What do you mean exactly? Because it looked like somebody was there before the uh, others that we killed. Yes. Oh, so you're you're looking for other people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Defilers. Did that fix it? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What is the is it gather is there gather information what's yes. the skill called that, that is an actual skill yes <clears throat> gather information. yeah yeah do you do you have that skill I do there you go no, I, I have like no points in it <laughs> <laughs> why is he gathering information for I left but after the uh, um, supply and demand he wants to see if there's any rumors about anyone seeking that temple besides the the ones you killed because <laughs> there was evidence that there was a third party <laughs> I have a good like pretty good like a visual thought of like what the uh, statue thought the looked like right um but the the piece the statue that was like down in the secret room that was missing mm -hmm. the head had the bloody footprints uh I wouldn't say you have a good idea of what was on it. You just, you have a good idea that it was some sort of 
headpiece or mask. Okay. I like... Okay, no, never mind. Finish what he's doing first. I'm whispering a bit so anyone else who wants to do something can. I would like to research related to that. Um, the typical garb for priests of set. To see if I can nail down like what I might be looking for to fix whatever was wrong down there. Because they were probably seeking whatever was in that room. and Until we put it to rest, something bad might come out of there. And also, anybody that's still reasonably injured, you can just swing by the temple and I'll just cure you, because it's not like I'm doing my spells for anything else. I'll give you a positive energy backhand. <laughs> Gotta test out that whip. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay. <clears throat> can't believe I have to look up how to spell pharaoh. It's such a weird fucking -A word. P-H-A-R-O-H. Yep. Uh, P-H-A-R-A-O-H. -O -H. -O -H. <laughs> pharaoh. <laughs> yeah, it's like pharaoh. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of the color. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't. I didn't know that the color was spelled without an A. <laughs> All right, I'm the fair um, body. We'll find out if I die later from being spoiled. No. Dude, I beat this guy in a tavern brawl. I just said thank you at the end, like when he conceded. Thanks. He, ad he added me, said shut up, and then de <laughs> and then defriended me. Nice. What, what, like, what was uh, what okay. was even the point? <laughs> that made him so salty. He added you. No, Rain. that happens. That happens all the time in Hearthstone, and like it's pretty widely known in the Hearthstone community that when you get a uh, well, it's it's like a stigma, right? It's like. If someone adds you after a game, it's generally going to be to flame, or be yeah. toxic or something. Um, it's not. It doesn't happen all the time, but it's most of the time. Like I've, I've, I've never personally done it, but I've had people add me after games and be like, "Kill yourself, you fucking faggot!" And I'm like, "Damn!" I, I always just put like a little <clears throat> smiley face, and then if they if they persist, then I'll get into it. But <laughs> uh, Joe, you can heal yourself, by the way. <laughs> Most of the time, it's not worth the energy. Yeah, I had I had something similar happen when I was playing Dark Souls once. Like me and my friend were playing through it together, and someone invaded us, and you know, <clears throat> killed him. We both did. Well, what is it over his dying body? <laughs> and immediately <laughs> asked me to his friends list on Steam. You can immediately see the friend request. You just oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Was that Dark Souls two with all the great salt emotes? <laughs> no, no, it's Dark Souls one. Only Dark Souls one has well, what is it? it got Dark Souls two has it, but it's by a different name. Yeah, it got replaced in two and three with "You're Welcome," which is slightly different as well. You shouldn't have done that. He's yeah. just boy. Well, what is it? It's such a salt-inducing emote. You just like walk with your hands spread like. <laughs> so is Bo Mommy yeah Bo Mommy just in a constant fucking wine jug? He doesn't understand what it means to be sober. I don't even think he could read the word. Well a gallon of ale is only two silver. <clears throat> yeah. He never has to leave the jug. <clears throat> That's a fucking gallon. <laughs> uh, a pearl of power can hold one level one spell, right? It lets you recall one level one spell. I don't really think it holds anything. Yeah, you recall a, a casted one. Basically, eff effectively, it just gives you an extra cast of a spell you already did. Okay, so I effectively have six burning hands. Oh my god. 
need to bang my head against my monitor. No, I'm just kidding. You might need my your head. burning hands to bandage yourself up afterwards. <clears throat> so... Brutus. Oh, Brutus. I'm, uh, I'm at home, coming. Yes. Does she have a daughter as well? Uh, she just has to avoid the spray pattern. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. don't don't sit in the splash zone, sweetie. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. Oh. Ah, oh, you didn't you didn't see the wet floor sign. Now look at you. God. Damn it, all over your face. Get out of here. You look like no. a fucking mayonnaise jar. You disgust me. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? You know what? It's not that I'm mad, it's just disappointed. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so Brutus, you have another dream over the three days. Oh, oh no. Are you ready for it? Let me get my dick out. <laughs> <laughs> you crack me up. Um so Brutus, one of your one of the knights uh after being thoroughly exhausted by by your wife no. pass into a deep slumber. I wave it off my face. <laughs> oh jeez. In your in your dream, or you don't know it's a dream, in your Oh my god. You oh, open it. Okay. Shit. I'll wait. Hey! Are you gay? <laughs> Are you gay? <laughs> you mean it? No? You mean it? God, read. I want to say that. I just want to say it's so bad, but I can't because I'm white. You white nigga, damn. Okay. Do you really think any of us are going to judge you, Josh? <laughs> I judge you, Josh. The I people on, his, on YouTube might. Josh frequently. <laughs> I guess that is fair enough. <laughs> Nigga, do I look okay? Oh God! <laughs> what? God. I mean, Josh is Josh is like three percent black, so it's okay. I mean, I yeah, hang I out I'm with nothing black but black. black people at work. And technically, a black guy hit a white girl at his work today. So now he, he's just setting the scales, yeah. right? Yep. He's evening the scales. Yeah. Yeah. He gets I'm a free. I'm pretty sure that was actually the white girl play, uh, paying reparations. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It really was. Oh jeez. Straight up. <clears throat> okay. All right. Back to the dream. Um. So, Brutus, you open your eyes. Um, you're on your knees in the sand. You look around. Uh, all around you are swords. There are hundreds of them. And oh, you I look. Got my bomb guy. Yeah. You raise your gaze, and you see that you're in some sort of arena. And ahead of you is a like an eight foot tall being made entirely out of black shadow, and it has a black uh, fuck. What's that black like metal or stone? Obsidian. Like, yeah, it looks like an obsidian blade, and it immediately starts charging at you. Uh, you reach out for one of the many swords around you and try to block its blow, but your sword shatters under under the creature's attack and its blade goes into you and into you. Wounds that should kill you, but they don't. But you feel the pain as if they were real. And you see, uh, you try and try again each time the, the swords are breaking and you take another wound and you see your two-handed sword uh, kind of off a little bit off to the side, you know, point in the ground <clears throat> and after a few more tries of using the other swords, you, you eventually in the dream grab the two-handed sword and as you raise it to strike the, the shadowy being, you wake up in another kind of cold sweat with a start. 
I'm gonna have to get new sheets. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah. No. Other than that, your three days go very, very well. Your wife is very happy that you're that you're home, and your daughter demands to see what you brought her from all of your adventuring. What did you bring her? Oh no! Oh no! And what did you bring her? Oh no! Put on the spot, bitch. Because you always bring her a souvenir. Daddy, show me. Oh yeah. This is, a, this is a human female. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I found this face. Uh, it's got no mouth anymore. Um, I thought it was interesting. You brought her to go to show her the ways of power. This is a man's arm I severed. Look, you can use the, you can use the face as a puppet. Oh no! Look, please don't I brought kill this me. other. I brought this other half of a torso. Her eyes changed color. It was weird. Dad. Yeah, <laughs> this was a priest of Set once. Now he's dead. Uh, Look, you stick your hand just like right up his spine. Look, you can Dad, even. Dad, how'd you how'd you get it? Yeah, I I found it. I no won in a game of chance. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't br get anything, if you didn't find anything while you were adventuring that you wanted, that like well, you could just say I you had, have, I wouldn't have taken anything from a s right. the set. Okay. On tomb, because you know. It's, yeah, it's, could be cursed or something, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going but on. You there. could say you bought something like on your yeah. way home for her if you wish. I got her a, a new friend, a new dial friend. Yes. Is it Zugol? Zugol, the best friend. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hmm? I'm talking about a crocodile. Making a new crocodile friend for her, because, you know, she got her other Yeah, her yeah. Friend, too. Did you uh, go back and no. skin, skin a certain <laughs> crocodile? <laughs> no, a real crocodile. No, don't make this fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> don't make this fucked up. I'm sorry. So you got her another one? Yeah, gotta have a okay. friend for the friend. Awesome. She's super excited about that. And she immediately starts like running around the table with, with both of them, making them chase each other and and your wife like does that thing where she's like, aw, and kinda of rests her head against your shoulder. Yes. Yes. It's a very touching scene. Of crocodile and daughter. <laughs> I'm gonna name this one Dundee. Oh. <laughs> Crikey, I, mate. I throw the crocodile. <laughs> we never see it again. It lands on some kind of stingray-like creature. No! It's dead. That wasn't Dundee. That, guy, that one's named Irwin. Fuck. <laughs> Wrong fucking crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry, Razi, your culture. I feel I feel horrible. Oh, no, I just committed a hate this crime. Is a knife guy. Right, right, shit. Right, one's named Dundee, one's, one's Irwin. <sighs> oh, that was good. How, do, how are you gonna do this to Steve Irwin? That man's dead. <laughs> you got fucking owned too by soon, a man. Right? Too soon. Like I know I was making jokes <laughs> about the Vegas thing, but Steve Irwin too soon. Yeah, yeah it'll always be too soon. I I liked him too, honestly. Did you ever see the uh the South Park where Satan's having a party, and it's like, he's like recently yes. the episode came out yep. like recently after Steve Irwin died. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too it's like, soon. hey man, that's that's not cool. It's too soon. It's too oh, soon. Man, it's it's me, Steve Irwin. <laughs> oh, well then no costume, dude. You gotta leave. <laughs> you no know, costume, dude. That's great. I do remember that one. Great episode. <clears throat> All right, um, Damaris, what are you doing for the three days? Are you getting your hawk? Yeah, I was gonna say. I guess I'm off getting my bird <clears throat> and training it. Is that what the kids call it nowadays? Training the hawk. Training the getting, hawk. getting your birds off. Oh God. Squawking. Okay. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> What's uh so you get so you get a kill while you're out training your first kill with your hawk that it helps you you track and and find and hunt. So what what do you kill? 
Fuck, I don't, I don't know what. What does of... your hawk punch? <laughs> oh, sorry, Falcon. I'm probably gonna call know, it a hawk <laughs> all I don't the know time. What kind of like game there is in bloody Egypt? All I ever think of is like <clears throat> sand. Yeah, that's all I think. Sand gets everywhere. Know, what the hell kind of creatures live in all that? All right, thing? Egyptians. Egyptians knew of lions, cheetahs, wolves, antelope, wild bulls, hyenas, jackals, wolves, snakes, mongoose, desert hails, hares, sorry, crocodiles, hippos, turtles, frogs, fish, and water birds. Wow, that's, um, that, that was quite a few things. Yes. And... Everyone forgets it's a part of Africa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do forget that. Think Africa. <laughs> You think Crocodile Dundee, think Africa. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh my, hang on, I'm closing the door. I thought Before I closed this by itself. Kill a, dog. a wolf? Jeez. Sure, why not? Okay. I'm about to kill one in real life, God damn it! SHUT UP! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> SHUT UP! Um, okay, so you get a wolf pelt, a wild wolf pelt. I hate my neighbors. I don't even know the name of the guy who lives next door, he's just asshole. <laughs> At least we can't hear it, unlike Alexis's fucking bird. Yeah, it's because my microphone isn't, like, Oh! Sensitive to shit. Oh, right, because that's at your house. Yeah. <laughs> at least we can't hear it, is my point. Alright, cool. Using, like, those laptops in build which they, they suck ass. Okay. Alright, so I think that's everyone but Zugal. What are you doing for the three days? Zugal will try and find a repository of knowledge backwards town. Um, why don't you roll some kind of, like, either gather information or, like, knowledge local, if you have it. I do not. Mostly you... because I'm from another plane of existence. <laughs> of existence? I know nothing about this plane. That would make no sense. What do you have? Um, uh, you have knowledge the planes. Knowledge spellcraft. Of but does he have knowledge of women? Okay, well, I mean, you can roll, gather information, I think, untrained? Yes, you can, so roll that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, it's not hard to find out that there um, isn't a library here, uh, but you do know that there is one in the next city over. I... I curse this backwards hamlet that I've been a cur uh, I've had to be forced to make deal with. And when I become powerful enough, I shall surely right these ignoramus injustices. <laughs> nice. Bring knowledge and enlightenment to these feral and disgusting vermin. <laughs> but, Damn. But for now, you can't live with plumbing. So you gotta shit in the fucking desert. Pretty much. <laughs> so at some point over the three days, you all are informed by Ty that there is, uh, you know, the auction that you all need to go to to get paid for all of your hard work. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. I guess I'll go to um, paid. Sorry, Bomani, I, I didn't, uh, I know you said you're drinking, but did you want to do anything else besides drinking? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm just hitting up the, the local pub. Alright, you, you definitely scare the waitress in your amount of drinking, and she worries for, like, your health. <laughs> it's, it's fine, I'll be... I'll be <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
All right. <laughs> Just to find Bob covered in puke. <laughs> well, he's just trying to live his life. That's an alcohol monster. He just wants to punch things and. He's an alcohol elemental. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like... He just wants to punch things and inject alcohol directly into his bloodstream. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, so, um, the days pass. And, uh, it's the night on the third day. The night of the auction. And it's at all of your favorite, you know, in. Uh, so do you all head there? I don't think I ever really left. Okay, perfect. I didn't ask for this as I head down the street. The, co the collective hobo so, populace sighs as they hear you. So tonight, um, this place is uh, definitely popping with some higher ups instead of the lowly filth that normally Man, occupies no. this place. Yes, and you see some familiar faces. Oh, mad dog. Yeah. And, uh... Ty! Come sit with me! <laughs> oh my god, it's oh. me! Oh, of course! Over oh, here! Oh. I <laughs> cast in large oh. person so you can <laughs> see me better! <laughs> Oh, Over here. Ah, uh, my nose is a little fucked up, so sorry if I sound weird. Some, some fucking slave beat the shit out of me in the street. <laughs> come, come sit. I can, I can buy you a drink. <laughs> oh, wait. oh yeah, this is that guy. <laughs> yes, it's a little crooked, but you know the ladies, they still like it. It's all good. <laughs> Slave beat the shit out of me in the street. <laughs> you, you get the name of that slave that hit you? But no, but no. hey, you know, it's just another day, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what can I say? I went home and sacrificed five slaves to Ra that night. <laughs> I was ah. very upset. You know how it is. I'm rich, though. Fuck him. He bitch slaps the slave next to him. <laughs> It's like, as a normal person, I'm appalled, but at least I'm intrigued. <laughs> intrigued. I fucking love this guy. Does the slave fall anywhere near where he's sitting? Uh, I mean, kind of, yeah. He's, it's in that general area. Seagal will look down at him and say, If you did not want this, you should have attained more power. A single tear goes down his face, then your boot lands square on it as he stumbles backwards. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, oh, dark and mysterious there. I, did my slave offend you? <laughs> I can take his hand right now. I can take his hand. My no. name is Abasi. What is your name, mysterious traveler? Zuko, so first. Ah. Server, get him a drink, for I take your hand too! What do I have to do to get some service around here? You see my she man. pours you a drink. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a sip of it. How's it taste? Good. Okay. I'll just uh, it's dunk. it's 2,000 year old honey honey mead. I'll spit it out and throw it <laughs> on the ground. What? <laughs> 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 it's... Ah. That... That is like actually like really good shit. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> I like yeah. I like this guy's vernacular. <laughs> <laughs> that is like really good shit, bro. <laughs> like what are you <laughs> doing? It's bro. Space age civilization. <laughs> and all all of you see the spread tonight that's being offered is like extremely extremely good. Like cheese stuffed figs, hard boiled peacock eggs, mm -hmm. onion stuffed squid. Wow. Dried fruit, and of course, two thousand year old. Oh, sorry, it's spiced honey wine. I'll turn to him and say, "One of these days, when I have come into my own, I will show you delicious drink." Hi, <laughs> my friend. Hi, but I, I best get back to my my guest. Hi, hey. No, no. <laughs> hey, you. you. He claps you on the back. So let me see your whip. I'll show you mine. 
<laughs> and it still is your whip. I haven't really broken it in yet. I've been kind of busy. Oh, I was sure there would be at least 20 more marks. You must have been very busy. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, sorry. Go ahead. Damaris, I was going to say, as you walk by, Mad Dog would, would physically attack you if you'd pass by him without saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs you. Do you want me to get my sword out again? <laughs> Come sit and have a drink with me, friend. Is that a okay. new pelt I see? Show me. Show me. Of course, sit. Of course. <laughs> what is that? Is that a falcon? It is a beautiful creature. It looks like a captain. <laughs> I, I tamed it just the other day. He really helped me hunt down when, uh, the wolf for this pelt. I always carry around some, some jerky for my dogs that are all fucking dead. He throws <laughs> some on the table. <laughs> <for her>. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sad. Please, please, have your fucking... Eat! Be merry! He slams his beard. Is he happy or is he mad? I don't know. Yeah. You don't know! You don't know! He's mad dog! He's, he's mad dog Marn. Merry! I can do merry! Oh my fucking god. Uh, yeah. I love it. Uh, so. I always carry around some jerky for my dogs that are fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Monty, you're approached next by this guy and his slaves. Mmm. Oh. What have we here? Are you on the menu, young man? He reaches out oh, and strokes, strokes your bicep. Whose slave are you there? Mm -mm. I'll kind of like turn my head, look at the the physical contact, and look back at him and. I'm going to give you but a moment to take your hand off of me. And where should I place it? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he uh <laughs> his his slave to the to the right of him is feeding him like a whole thing of grapes at once in his mouth. Holy oh, shit. He's like, "Oh." <sighs> mm. Would you care for some? Slave, feed, feed him. <laughs> feed him. <laughs> I'll point, I'll point to the slave. So you stay where you are. You, my man. master, has commanded me. <laughs> I must obey. He's gonna feed you some bitch ass grapes, dude. I'm this gonna give we you. Roll initiative. I'm gonna give you both playing, the count of three to step playing, away from me. Fine, so playing going hard to, hit to get. Someone. So, oh, he's playing. So so tough and strong. Oh, the weary traveler. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He he does through his drunkenness somehow get your threats. <laughs> <laughs> and backs off. On that menu. I'll turn I'll turn back to my beer. I'll, I'll turn back to my beer and very, very softly I'll whisper to myself. <laughs> what, that? Can't hit, me, can't hit me with that gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> can't hit me with that gay shit. Miss me with that gay shit. Nice. Do you need another shower over there? <laughs> God damn. <clears throat> uh, where should I move it to? So, Damaris, uh, as you expected, Mad Dog has his, his sword out. And, uh, you know, sh he's brandishing it, as he likes to do. His magic sword he found. Well, it is quite impressive. Would you like to touch it? So sorry, oh, I keep doing this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is, is everybody gay in here? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's Egypt. Everybody's a homosexual. No, everyone's ancestral. That's the Greeks that were gay. You just you, and now you just realize that the name of the bar is like the Flying Swallows. <laughs> oh no! It's 
the asps in, but it's <laughs> the, the man's asp. I don't like mm. it. I don't like this at all. I'm gonna have to quit. <laughs> you have another dream. <laughs> I have another dream. This time oh my god, no, the name, the name of the bar is Bottoms Up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Bottoms Up. Oh Red no. Red flag. <laughs> snake and asps. <laughs> I heard you're a real snake eater. Boss. He's a snake eater snake on our handler. team. It's a snake handler. Boss. Yeah, you can really handle that snake. You killed a child. Great job. Amazing. Amazing. Mission complete. Is it like gonna start at any- Is it like starting this evening or is it starting the next day? Oh, it's starting this evening. Okay. <sighs> I guess I should have figured I don't think any of us would have bothered to show up otherwise. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of people here, more than what the tokens have. There's, you know, just, it's just packed with, like, the upper crust and people wanting to auction off their goods. And men. Lots of men and women. And men. Well, uh, I was know. good to see you again, but... I afraid I should probably get back to selling this stuff. The rest of my group will not be so patient. Okay, okay, Ty. It's good to see you. You gotta come by. Remember dinner at my mansion. You'll yes. be dutifully served by at least twelve slaves. At least. At least. And I'll hold you to you, that. <laughs> if you ever need a good deal, hell, I'll toss a few in for free if you sacrifice them. I don't know if you met your quota this month. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've, I've been really busy, I don't know. <laughs> but yes, thank you. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, yeah. Teleports. Teleports. Uh, so, you know, the auction's still not for a little bit, so if you guys have other talking you want to do to people, um, there are some more people that are going to talk to you. You guys. Does anyone try to sexually harass Zungal? Uh, I I think you give off an anti don't ha sexually harass me yeah, vibe. Is she gonna wear like those like ass bearing like chaps? <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately, I guess I wouldn't. <laughs> he sounds a little disappointed that he's not. <laughs> like, like, no. I have a spare set of assless chaps in my bag of holding if you need them. Oh, 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 here he comes! Oh, oh. Alright, Zugal, you're approached by a merchant. He looks like a slave to me. <laughs> Did you just grab a random token? Oh, there he is. He's, he's going right inside, I guess. I'll just continue to look forward. <clears throat> hey. You Why? there. You look like the adventuring sort. I suggest you do not waste my breath. It is valuable, far more so than your life. And what is the point? Excuse me? <laughs> he begins to take off one of his gloves. Oh, no. No. You have sir. <laughs> if you tell me one. If you wish, I can just burn off that hand now. He begins to slowly put it back on. I was just going to go over here. That is perhaps very wise. Dude, this is exactly like when somebody tried to sell a man a death stick. <laughs> Alright, what, so what about uh, Brutus and Labarus and Bomani? We're being How kind. receptive are you guys? Like, are you guys going to socialize at all or talk to people or let people talk to you without <laughs> threatening to kill them? <laughs> um... I don't know, that is man, anyone dude, really that man, willing that, to... that man was clearly trying to invade my nethers. I didn't want anywhere near me. Right, 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 yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, yeah, that guy was trying to get some... Uh, some Jules... Sausage. Jules some some he, Bomani starfish, like... I mean, hey, if you don't want to earn some tips tonight, it's all cool, Bomani. He's trying so, to get a different kind of tip. In, yeah. what, what, what is, what is Bomani and Brutus's conversations just like, so you have the sword? So you use your fists. <laughs> yes. I'm glad this is all out on the table now. <laughs> <laughs> your sword changes people into fucking mutants. Your fists can saw... break stone. 
Yeah, I was going. I've been meaning to ask you about that. <laughs> oh no! Don't 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 ask me about that. Wait, we don't, don't talk. Ask me about that. <laughs> don't make me prepare a zone of truth. <laughs> oh no! Actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. It's like it's gonna be like dead quiet at the table, and I'm just gonna look up and be like, "So, oh. your sword." Ah <laughs> oh, yes, my long sword. Yes, it's finely crafted. Your other sword. I couldn't have helped but notice that your sword did some weird shit back there. <laughs> <clears throat> Care well, to elaborate? Well, no. Okay. Um, another another round. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I need more drinks! More drinks! Um, no. Wrong drinks. Um, even... Even I am uncertain on what causes the, uh... The weird... Effects. All I know is it's effective... In... Disposing... Others. As long as you keep it in the enemies and away from the rest of us, I have you back. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I only use it in the most dire of situations. So, uh, anyway, what are we all planning to do after we sell all of this? I'm gonna go plow my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, <laughs> I think I can do that any night. Of Oh, I have interest in the ones who may have taken whatever it was on the statue from Sam. I mean, all night. <laughs> Every once in a while he just interrupts you like... <laughs> <laughs> that pussy is so tight. <laughs> Did you yes. see her at the temple when she was getting it fixed? <laughs> what? <laughs> when she's getting oh, no. it fixed. <laughs> oh yes, of course. I oversaw that operation. It was rather brutal handiwork. Do you use a <laughs> truncheon during your lovemaking? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pack them up, boys. That's it. <laughs> It's just so huge. <laughs> I, I could definitely see that from the trauma marks. Yes. Is that why I feel bad for her, but like... What can you do when you're like this? You're like I fully shit. understand. I do, I do not fall to you. I'm glad that we're able to fix it so easily. Should I just lay it out of the table so we can all measure? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, but anyway, so Josh is Josh is hunting down men. Yeah. Hmm? M moments later, you just hear. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, everybody, like, everybody stops like, like hmm? talking to me, and I, all of a sudden you just hear like the. <laughs> <laughs> Brutus? Twelve inches. Oh. Hard as steel. Um, I don't like this side of you. <laughs> so, Labaris, you're approached by a merchant. You can tell he is quite sauced off this, this wine that they're serving. Mm-hmm. How are you? How are you doing there? Whoa, you're. Whoa, he looks up. You're tall. Astute observation. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Astute observation. Oh. Astute observation. You are you an adventurer? I guess you could say that's what I've been doing. Looking through no. the temples. <laughs> You know, most of you, you fellows didn't fare so well in 
You know what I hear is that some shady lowlifes ambushed the Scorch Hand, a group of adventurers, while they're trying to leave the, the, the necropolis. Did you hear about that? No. What were they doing? <laughs> oh, just trying to probably fence their rightfully earned goods, and they're ambushed by some thugs. The same thing happened to us on the way to the Temple of Set. <laughs> Oh no. Um, Labaris, you'd recognize that the Scorch Hand was mm -hmm. what the uh, the people you fought inside the, the Temple of Set were? That was their group? Uh, I don't think they'll be bothering anyone anymore, though. They were, they were ambushed. Huh? What are you talking about? I hope those bandits get what they got coming to them. His head went flying. It's glorious. Yes, I don't think any of them will ever be returning. <laughs> God damn <laughs> Wait, so you went back for the the shit covered one? Or did you just buy another belt because you were so attached to it? No, that's that was Bomani's belt. I threw that at his face. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Bomani have a shit covered belt? I I'm forgetting something. Brutus used it to wipe with. Oh, oh yeah. This, this was this, this this was canon? <laughs> I don't know. No, it's not <laughs> canon. <laughs> Sliding between this. Sometimes I can't teams. tell. I, I have to go with what you say. The unsullied, well taught leather. Like, what party is gonna be like? Yeah, we follow the guy who just shit on the table. Just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just adventuring, and he just stopped on the and just he broke the table with his turd. Like it was. Wow. It was magnificent. <sighs> I thought about taking it back as a sample, like... <laughs> For science? Oh, no. Obviously. They approach. So, Ty, uh, there's a conversation kind of near you of, like, of merchants kind of standing around talking, and, um, I don't know how well, how much you're listening to it, but they're talking about, um, how, how, uh, you know, the Church of Ra opened up the necropolis, to to you know be reclaimed or whatever and he taps you on the shoulder and says uh don't you agree isn't it dreadful the way the church opened it allowing our history to just be taken by so many foreigners he sounds very like there's a lot of hate on the word foreigners <laughs> So much cultural damage. He's he's grabbing your shoulder now. What do you what do you think? Uh, well, I mean, if if all the if, if you really want to keep the culture here, you could just buy all the stuff they got. Uh, it was, as much as I respect the dead and the burials of things, it's culture that would have been long since forgotten if it's all just down there. At least now, people currently living get a chance to experience what it was like back then. I too do to dislike the practice of desecration that we are using. And he glances down and sees your holy symbol and sees that you're actually a priest. <laughs> and goes, <laughs> Oh! Oh, I I'm, I meant no offense to the church of, of Ra, of course, uh, their decisions are all knowing and wise, and and I'm going to go get a refill. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Gaul will turn to the man and say, "You're right, of course." It makes yes. Sense. Dirty, dirty foreigners. He looks at you. Wait. <laughs> I know <Yeah>. you. 
Yes. You look like the most foreigner I am, I've ever I'm not, seen. I'm not from this plane. I've journeyed through, through many twisting paths to arrive here in this rather smelly land. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be taking some of your cultural heritage. What? <laughs> that will amuse me. So vulgar. Your discontentment with it only makes only makes it funnier. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't last a minute out there in the necropolis. Good luck getting some of that history. <laughs> what do you think brought it back? Brought what back? Let's see it. Whip it out. I'll take, I'll take out one of the uh, ring or the earring I got from my first adventure and kind of show it. Just pull it out and show it to him. Oh, that looks like a normal ring to me. Where's the history behind it? It was in one of your temples. Among your dead. It's mine now. <laughs> he, wow. he, does, he does an eye roll. I'm gonna have to whip my slaves extra hard tonight. I'm pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was hoping he'd swing at me so I could smack him in the face with my. People aren't horse. gonna swing in this situation. <laughs> Damn it! I mean, if if it's this if it's so fucking crowded in here that it'd be like hard to move around, I don't really think somebody's gonna draw a weapon and try to kill you for like a slight verbal <laughs> insult. I mean, you never know with enough alcohol what could happen. Everyone is terrified of your god. Is that man? Am I? Mm. I respect my god. It is not fear. It's an undying love. The sense of honor and duty towards the one that grants me the powers to see their will done. Bomani, uh... You watch as Zugal tackles the barmaid. <laughs> as... She she was trying to approach you, Bomani. As Zugal like bumps into her, like doesn't even pay attention. She was like the ah. douchebag bump. <laughs> yeah, the douche bump. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bomani, do you do anything? Uh, no, I do nothing. Okay. Well, <laughs> she places a hand on your shoulder. Uh -oh. And leans over, oh so gosh. her jugs are like eye level to you as she refills your drink. So you're still here, huh? And you're still giving great service. Oh, I aim to please, master. Oh no. <laughs> uh, she lets she pours very very slowly, and uh, she kind of mentions uh. Have you seen any of those fellows in the gold mass? My brother says he's been seeing them running around all night. They sound very exotic. Hmm. Can I do a sense motive? Sure. Can't trust these hoes. Those hoes ain't staying loyal. <laughs> Reality, she's been robbing your ass the whole time. Yeah, so she's just kind of um, lingering after your drink's filled. She's waiting for you to, to down half of it as you normally do, as you think on her words. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose I've seen a few. Can't say I've spoken to any. Yeah, I wonder wonder what they're doing. I wonder if they found those masks in the in the necropolis. You're so brave for going out there. She squeezes your arm. Man. She really <laughs> wants the rich man to be right now. <laughs> <laughs> she sees opportunity. Perhaps when you're finished, you can we could share a drink together. Maybe uh, in private. 
I'd like that. And she whispers something in your ear. She whispers something sensual, secret. My, uh, you'll see my my eyebrow kind of raise up and she walks away. I'll just kind of like <laughs> check her out as she walks away. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm All right. Yeah, so the auction is uh, starting to gear up. Um, by the way, Ty, uh, he hasn't approached you at all, but you do see your, your mentor here, Temenib. He's been kind of sitting alone, nursing a, a, f a still full drink all night, uh, by the way. I'll, I'll go see how he's done before we start. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, as you approach, he doesn't uh, look up from from his drink. Uh, <clears throat> what's happening? I'll do ah. a little raw salute. He kind of shakes his head as if getting out of his thoughts. Ah, Ty, good to see you, my young apprentice. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course, my master. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry, I'm, I've just had a lot on my mind today. I... I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm glad you could come. Uh, I'm. You'll have to tell me of the treasures you found back at the temple. Mm -hmm. Of course. It's a shame you won't get to see them. <clears throat> yeah, he seems. Uh, you can definitely tell he seems very distraught. But he he gets up and leaves some coins on the table for his drink. You know everything's free tonight. What a nice guy. Mm hmm. I'll go back and sit down and start laying all the stuff out. Now we get to the bookkeeping part. So you guys can sell stuff. Um, anything on the loot list that doesn't have a GP price, like I didn't give you a GP price, like the mostly the magic stuff can be sold at 60% um, of its normal value instead of 50% tonight. Mm -hmm. So... Everybody go look at the loot list. The last second, uh, decide if you want anything that's left there, because otherwise it's all getting thrown onto the funeral pyre of sales. <laughs> what is Alchemist Fire? It's a throwable. Yeah, it's a throwable grenade. I like item. Probably wouldn't do me too much good then, huh? They aren't that good, especially by like this level. Like good for level one characters to buy. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I like the. Portrait of a beautiful woman, playboy, question mark. <laughs> Amani, we should go give her the dress. <laughs> Be some cosplay, some kink play before you tell her in the fabulous. Put on this mask. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are dressed as an Egyptian god. Pull on, put on this mask, pull back this bow and arrow, and tell me you're gonna kill me. <laughs> really gets my rocks off. Oh my god! <laughs> no, Did put I on. Actually, put on this holy symbol of Ra and douse me in water. <laughs> That's what does it for me. <laughs> put, on, put on this blonde wig and tell me you're gonna turn evil. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. This is getting a little weird. It's getting a little weird. Like, just do this for me. <laughs> just let me do this for you. Um, <laughs> Shit, that was great. Can I get the necklace worth seventy-five? I mean, I think you've hoovered, like, probably the most money out of the fund for free, but I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. I mean, I haven't taken any gear. I don't know, I mean, you, I remember you distinctly hoovered a mirror <laughs> and perfume earlier. I hoovered one mirror. I mean, yeah, hoover away. <laughs> hoover away. <laughs> Nick knows I hoover things, it's okay. Oh, yeah, look at do. the, uh, look at the gold mask. And just try and contemplate it. 
All right, necklace worth seventy five GP has been obliterated like a monster in the Yu Gi Oh anime. Now, is this the uh, Cartoon Network or is it special Both. episode I found on the uh, internet? <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Okay, so oh. everything with the gold value sells for sixty percent. You said right? Yeah, like the. You know, like a plus one weapon would normally sell for a thousand, but here it'll sell for six hundred. Twelve hundred. Oh. All right, time to give myself a headache. Okay, I'm... how much are masterwork weapons worth? Three hundred. See. Okay, so. So that would be two hundred and ten gold. It would sell for. If my very rusty Shouldn't math. Should it be 180 gold? I just did the well, math. Well, 300 halved is base, which is 150. And then with an extra. Oh, right. It's only going up 10%. Yeah, you're right. 180. Okay, I, so... For some reason, I had 20% in my mind. All right. Okay. So I'm going to start. I'm just going to start tossing gold values next to everything. If it doesn't have one. How much is the Scarab Shield going to sell for that we got really early on? Um, let's see, well, it was a plus one shield, um, but it was special. Um, I didn't know the Scarab Shield was even plus one. I'll probably keep it if it's plus one. It's a plus one light shield, though. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. That, um, that explains why I didn't use it. Mm hmm. Um,. But uh, yeah, you can sell that for uh, for full price because it it was unique. It did have like a unique ability, I believe, or was that the leather armor? I think that I think that was the padded armor you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, well, never mind then about the shield. Is it worth anything? <laughs> what the the shield's plus one, so it sells for Twelve. what? Well, that's. Armor base armor is a thousand, so have is five hundred, sixty percent, six hundred. I think like we should have done this before the session. I'm gonna be honest. Probably. Well, that's okay. Well, I mean, you know, everyone's here. They'll get a buy and sell their magic gear. You said six hundred. Yeah. I was trying to pull up the other stuff. A clay urn of perfume. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to go look this up. Hey, I put a gold value next to everything you gave me one at the time for. Right, I think that was before I was giving gold values. I, I don't know why. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go find it. Might as well just have us find clay urns mm. full of gold. <laughs> so, so, Bob Monty, how did you get your fist strong enough to punch rock? I punched a rock for days. Training every day, every hour and every minute. That is they say that it's every day, bro. <laughs> Was that before your drinks? Before? That would imply that there was a rare time I wasn't drinking. Um, no, uh, actually when you ask him that, Labarus, he replies with doing... A hundred push-ups, hundred yeah. sit-ups, hundred <laughs> squats, and and run ten kilometers. I was thinking, I was thinking about saying that, but I was gonna try not to beep for a second. <laughs> no, Joe, that was a mistake. <laughs> always me. We always, all always me. Of course, literally always. I was I was showing self-control. <laughs> In my so, Discord, you try to self-control a meme. <gasps> the plus two armor? Added. Okay, so yeah, that will sell for the full plus two price of uh, for magic armor. I think that's 2,000? Yeah, I just got the Master Handbook open, so let me go look. Yeah, I'm looking up the perfume real quick, <laughs> sorry. 
plus two armor's base price is actually 4,000 gold. Well, there you go. Okay, the perfume is 75 gold. Um, the precious gemstones, minus 10 mossy agates. Hmm, where did you guys find those? I don't... First know. dungeon. Oh, in the first one, okay. My, my loot list is divided into dungeons. That's what the little, like, page break thing is. Ah. Oh. Let's see. Um, 55 gold. Okay. Pharaoh's funerary mask from the first one. 500. Damn. Um, I, we already used the Vile Luster Restoration. I don't know why that's there. I don't think we're going to sell the Vile of Dark Vision, so I'll just leave it. Isis slash Sobek masks. Um, one sec. Alright, Hmm. Let's go with a hundred each. I can't find it. <laughs> okay, we have all the gold values for that stuff. Gold's golden symbol of Horus. Where did you guys get that? Second dungeon. That was the mansion? Yeah. Okay, let's see. You have most of the gold values from stuff here. So I'm only missing like two things. And what's the other thing so I can look for that too while I'm at it? <laughs> gold symbol of Horus and the other one's just plus one scale armor. I just had to go. Oh. You know. Alright. Um... Let's see. That one is worth <clears throat> twenty-five gold. Okay. Um, you said that armor gets sold at sixty percent, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Armor and and weapons. Are we also able to sell the portrait <laughs> of a beautiful woman, or do we need to go find a special buyer for that? Yeah, you can definitely sell it here. Okay. Bunch of rich asses. Uh, yeah. Did I tell you the the gold for that or? Yeah, you did. Okay, so yeah. yeah it can it'll actually uh, sell for ten percent higher because the the sexual energy right now is just charged. And I will add eight GP onto the that. Is welcome to that. <laughs> From the last, <laughs> we have a couple of stuff. We didn't so, value more. Okay. Um, we have the Onyx Funerary Mask, the gold black symbol of Set. Alright, so that's from the third dungeon. Yeah. Right? Okay. Alright, I will look that up. And I'll have to tally this up separately because Suka only gets his cut from the third part. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed that. Um, Rod didn't take the fucking super nice silk dress that was there. Mm -mm. I already got my wife something. As amazed as you didn't get it for your wife. Either. I'll whip my table, like my table dick out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for sale, sir? How much you pay? <laughs> I could be convinced. I'm not paying for the repair cost, though. <laughs> Listen. This will decimate you, okay? <laughs> Nobody comes back normal. You need a special weapon for since you just don't handle it. It use a feet. So the the symbol's fifty GB. Okay. And what was the other thing? The Onyx funerary mask. Twenty GB. It's actually pretty simple. And other than that, I should go find the price for a brace or a plus one armor, then I can tally it up. It's base a thousand. Oh. Okay, then. 600G. Okay. 
Okay then, let's go break out the uh, calculator. 50 plus 60. Since plus you seven. have it conveniently in sections, it should make it easier dividing things for Zugal. That's you exactly. Just... I'm just doing the last one first, then I'll just divide that, and I'll add everything else together and divide that amongst the rest of us. Okay. Plus 200, plus 100, plus 780, plus 360, no scope. No scope? Plus 65, plus 70. Alright, so the last section. The last section is worth 3,329 gold. Second section is worth. You guys can talk or whatever while I do this. You don't have to see your sound while I do addition. <laughs> 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 but it's so intriguing to listen to you do math. Oh. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not staring creepily at Raw Tire or anything while he does this. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so, Mad Dog wants to buy your new pelt. Demaris. Ooh. Mm. I mean, if you want that, I'm I'm happy to sell it to him. What's your price, friend? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back to this. Could have uh, tried to figure out what a good price. Would be. Don't want to sell yourself short. Yeah, but I also like these guys. Give them a discount, but I'm not sure what a discount would. Uh, he he grabs you by by the like you know the collar, and don't you try to give me any discount. I want to pay the full price. The fuck? <laughs> uh, I always don't... carry around jerky from my dogs that are fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> my dogs are. He's got you hear me straight fucking insane. <laughs> See you. You're the type to give a discount to a friend. I ain't your fucking friend. No, oh, just no, kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Actually, you're my only friend. Oh fuck, man. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god. What, what happened? Happened to your other buddy? Hmm. Were they your friends? Who? <sighs> I stabbed him with my fucking magic sword. <laughs> they didn't like that. <laughs> Why did they try to take a look? But I made sure they didn't like them. anything anymore. They were looking at my magic sword. You understand. <laughs> oh uh, <laughs> you understand. <laughs> Alright, we have tallied up everything, so. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so. Three, three, two, nine, divided by six. Everybody, for the share that includes. Zugal. Everybody gets this amount of money. So this is the money I can add, right? Yes. This is... Everybody gets that amount. Oh god, somebody got shot! Rest in peace. What is with this damn fucking character sheet? I need to go reopen it. It's like it glitches. The, the equipment page glitches out so often. Yeah, it does. Basically, it just takes a while. And then whenever you just move out, the thing is kind of annoying. 1,031 gold. Okay, so... Rozzy, did you see what he's gonna pay you? Uh, no. I'm currently acquiring food. Oh, <laughs> right, right. Food. Lasagna. Mm-hmm. 
Dink. Well, I was setting the oven to preheat. I'm coming back upstairs now. Okay. Wow, that is quite the difference. Oh, jeez. That, that fucking, that plus two padded armor was a giant upset. <laughs> oh, from, from the first dungeon? Yeah. Yeah. It that was, was like a unique, a unique item. Yeah, but like, you know what padded armor is, right? Yeah, I know, it sucks. That would look very <laughs> graceful on me. <laughs> It looks like you're like one of those uh, kids, like the parents don't really want you to get hurt, so they put you in like a giant bubble suit. Well, it was, it was like a a high general's padded armor, like it's meant for someone who's like commanding. It was very like, it doesn't look as ridiculous as like base padded armor, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Is adorned with good regal stitching. Wow, yeah, that is a lot of money. So everyone gets the 500 and the 1600 except for Zugal? Yeah, Zugal does not get this, a part of the six. This, Zugal does not get the 1600, but he does get the 500. So I was going to say, the 1600 is a mix of more stuff and also a low, like a higher percentage of lit. Once everybody's recorded all that, you may uh, obliterate the loot section at will. So, how much do we get? It's um the two things that I put in chat. Everybody gets that amount of money each, except for Zugal. Zugal doesn't get the second one. Okay. Sixteen sixty-seven. Gotcha. And and you get the five fifty-four. Oh, so it's like twenty-two hundred altogether. Yep. Fucking rich. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> they call me Rick James. I end at two thousand seven hundred and fifty. Damn, dude. You need to spend that money. So you guys um, can also buy stuff at this point, as a lot of people are selling stuff and merchants here. So if there is magic items, etc. You'd wish to buy. Man, you know, even as me, the king of wondrous items, I'm not really even too familiar with what, what I'd want to buy. Yeah, I'm still a little too poor to buy any magic item. I would have to explore a little more. See, a lot of the cheap wondrous items are built on exploiting water, which Egypt doesn't really have a lot of water. <laughs> mm hmm. So yeah. Okay. I mean, hey, um, Bomani, if you want to completely negate your class's entire uh, level up uh, branch, you can just buy a ring of feather falling and remove that the need for that ability ever again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Monk's feather fall is such a dumb ability. You can buy a twenty-five hundred gold ability, and I can survive any fall that a level twenty monk can. <laughs> I. I have a lot of money. I need to spend my money. Yeah. I think I would probably go for a masterwork scythe. And did magic plus one. Because I haven't really bio bought anything. Yeah, I was going to say. Josh, all magic weapons are masterwork. Alright, so. Yeah. It has to be masterwork to be made into a magical weapon. I want to buy fist upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cast fist. Yeah. <laughs> if you're serious, you can take a. a Whatever the hell the things are called. No. It's called Kensai that you can actually enchant your fists. Oh, that's awesome. You what? I have a magical fist. Maybe. Okay. I guess my bird just has its own theme. Huh? <laughs> no, I just looked at. I'd, I'd kept my bird, my token, down the seat. So I guess perched on the seat. <laughs> No, it's Oops. eating the eating the jerky that Mad Dog gave it. You know, he brought fresh dogs that are fucking dead. 
and uh, Mad Dog tries to like stroke the bird and gets his finger pecked. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I didn't say anything, just like you get you get like fucking dead dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I kept a bird around for my dead dogs. <laughs> my dogs would fucking bite my fingers too, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Brings back memories. <laughs> Draw your knife. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you guys. I just feel bad you guys haven't really bought much. I know there's not a whole. I know you guys want the good stuff, right? <laughs> um, I, I, just, I, don't, I don't know much in the way of price, so I don't really want to spend half an hour looking up right now. Okay. But no, I'm, yeah. I'm definitely going to the plus one scythe. Wait, okay. It's a javelin yeah. of lightning. Like I'll probably just get a better bow. Making a weapon plus one is two thousand gold. I'll uh, buy bolts for the crossbow. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, and that's where all my money goes. Into my scythe. You just suddenly see it get siphoned. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the javelin of lightning that is described? Let's see this shit. Oh, that is... Oh, I like that weapon. It's a classic. Well, it, like, it's within my price range, but I can't find it in the damn book. I'm gonna pull it open, too. I will help. Because, I mean, if it's, like, a normal spear and it has some cool ability, oh, I'll we'll fucking... I'll cash out. Uh, yeah, I remember it's a javelin. Yeah, but I think javelins still work as spears. I think it's on think D6, not D8. Well, that's, that's what the short spear is. Huh. Well, no, uh, javelins, I believe the description gives them like a massive penalty if used in melee. Uh, used in melee. Uh, not this thick. Buying an adamantine dagger is 3,000 gold. Fucking damn. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll spend 10 gold for 100 more. So, a javelin of lightning. <laughs> oh, shit. This javelin becomes a 5d6 lightning bolt when thrown. DC 14 reflex save for half damage. It is consumed in the attack. Wow, so it's really just a one hit or quitter. Yeah. Once you tap in, you tap I out. I mean, you become Zeus. I am Zeus! Ha! <laughs> I am not Zeus anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that would make me a heretic. Turn, trust nobody, not even yourself. Dude, I could buy a hat of disguise. Most expensive, like, wondrous tier. Oh, I could buy a cloak of elven kind. That might actually be kind of useful. Or, you know, for literally all of my money. <laughs> <laughs> by a keel boat. Hmm. I thought I was giving tons of money out. Maybe maybe I wasn't. <laughs> I'll step it I mean, up. I think we have an appropriate amount of money for the level. It's just there really isn't too much that we need at this yeah. okay. bracket. That, like, that's probably I true. That's so much money because like I don't I don't wear armor and I don't really use weapons. So <laughs> just Yeah. He buys yeah. the most potent money. drink ever. Uh -huh. Well, Mani, something to keep your eyes out for is the uh, the monk's belt. It lets you basically punch and have AC equal to like a monk of six levels higher. Oh my! How much is that? Pretty cost? sick. I don't actually remember it being that expensive. Like it's out of our price range right now, but it's not that yeah. bad. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's a handy haversack. Oh, I could buy a haversack. A yeah, monk's belt is 13,000. That's not too bad. <laughs> Don't worry, uh... Whoa. Only, only 10,000 more to go. Gold starts going up like crazy. Like, you guys yeah. will be finding 10,000, like, every encounter <laughs> pretty quick. Oh, God. At like, the higher levels. Like, oh, wow, 10,000 gold is in my ass crack. There's <laughs> <laughs> a solid platinum dildo right here. Stop. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> where else would I? Where else would I look at purchasable things that isn't in the player's handbook? Wow, um, the Haver dungeon, is the dungeon, dungeon master's game. guide. Gotcha. Has the vast majority. Okay, so unlike a bag of holding, the Haver sack is actually like a full-sized backpack. Uh, I but see whenever you reach into it, you always find the item you want immediately. Oh, that's cool. It's always at the top, which that, that's pretty fucking. Google. That is extremely fucking useful. Yeah, later on I'll probably replace the bag of holding with that. Yeah. Does it also function as a bag of holding though? Yeah, it, so it is a bag of holding, it's just backpack sized. Yeah. Oh. It's a smart bag of holding. That's really cool. It's a smartphone. I thought bag of holdings did that, just like you reach in. No. No? Yeah, depending on how much shit you have in your bag of holding, it can be a full round action to find the item. <laughs> Oh shit, I, I didn't even know that. Wow. Bags of holding are literally just like the fucking like the hoarders. You're just like, all right, everything in. <laughs> you guys let me know when you're done looking at things though. You can, well, of course, later, you know, like after the session even say like, oh, I bought something here. It's this, you know, that's fine. I might save a little bit more because in, in a thousand more gold I can buy per periaptic wisdom, which is plus two. Oh, that that'd be sick. Yeah, I think I'll just save because anything else right now. All right. The pipes of pain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this. <laughs> 3.5e does have the best wondrous item in the game. I used them a little bit in Josh's game, but they're way, way better in this. Null serves marvelous pigments. God. You can literally fucking um, roadrunner people. You can drop hits on the ground that become real. You can draw doors into buildings. <laughs> but you have to build something easy. You should probably have around 2,600. No, no, I was trying to figure out how much a composite plus two magical elven craft long. Uh, a lot of things to factor off. Well, you can get your bow enchanted. Because um, you already have that, right? You already have the base. Yeah. But... A plus one combo bow. Yeah, so just if you want your current bow enchanted with a plus one, it's just two thousand. But I wanted a plus bump fit. Oh, a so strength it, plus two. Oh, so that's a different bow than what you have. Uh, yeah, I figured it. It'd have to be bow. Mm-hmm. Well, then so you I, gotta so calculate. I was those bows can get pretty expensive for some reason. Yeah, I mean, also, I wouldn't really worry too much about buying a new weapon because, like, fucking 3.5e, especially if you use the random tables to be like, oh, I killed a harpy. Oh, look, it vomited up bracers of archery, a plus two composite longbow, and, like, <laughs> 10,000 gold on my lap. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that shit happened to me once. I was just like, oh, cool, I don't need to buy a weapon upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> You can also buy intelligent weapons. I'll have to look up how much a uh, vorpal weapon is. You, you can't afford a vorpal weapon. Damn. <laughs> Josh, you're hilarious. But is that something you want to set your sights on? Uh, 
in a disgusting, overpowered fashion, maybe. <laughs> a four plus scythe. Yeah, four plus five scythe is a, uh, especially with improved critical. With improved critical, it's pretty fucking <laughs> insane. Isn't the scythe a times five? Uh, four right now. Times okay, four. Yeah. You probably. I think that's um. I think that'll be a crit range of sixteen to twenty. Uh, with improved critical on a normal thing with a higher threat range, it's 14 to 20. End of warp weapon. Jesus. That's crazy. Yeah, but keep in mind, when you critting without a 20 doesn't mean you hit. Yeah. Yep. Gotta confirm that shit. Well, that end, it might not actually hit their defense. Maybe I should just buy some fancy arrow. Ooh, a fancy arrow. <gasps> Might be cool. Yeah, like uh, this one has dragon's breath arrow. If you wanted to really waste your money, you could go buy a bag of tricks. <laughs> it <begun the> <laughs> you, you have a bag, and when you reach into it, you can throw out like diminutive animals at the first tier. The second tier is like mildly dangerous animals, and the third tier is like, holy shit, how is this in a bag tier? Also, some some other things you guys might want. Uh, Ring of Protections plus one or two thousand. Ring of Feather Fallings twenty two hundred. Yeah, I was looking at those. It's kind of cool. So, what's the Ring of Protection? Just gives me a plus one to AC. Yeah. Also, an Amulet of Natural Armor would do the same thing if you wanted to buy that instead. Yeah. How much is that? I mean, I don't know how they'd stack with each other, but. I just scroll back down to the amulet section. Yeah. He's like, you want to do everything but we actually wear armor. Hmm. No, please. No Russian. Are you a Russian, lad? Yes. Good. Then you you should also... have named this character, Joe. Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> See, what character? This character. Bomani. Oh, Bomani. Should An important it. thing. Vinny. Bomani, Bomani is his slave name. You don't know what his, his real name could be. Oh, so oh. it's just Vinny D. <laughs> See, now remember, the best pickup line in all of D&D 3.5 is, do you want to see my rod of lordly might? Yeah. Um, I I really want to, and I'm planning to do, a, like a recent times or futuristic times campaign of something, just so I can ha hear Joe play Vinny D again. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys good? Are you gonna? I'm just gonna do my shopping after the session, just so we don't okay. take longer. I'm sit. All right. Okay. So, there is a knock at the door. Uh, Ayla and one of the slaves uh, goes to, to answer it. As they grab the handles, uh, the doors burst off the hinges and fall towards them and kind of on them, crushing them under an onslaught of zombies. I've been waiting for this. The woman and the slave seem very badly injured, but still alive. And oh, everyone can ro order. roll initiative. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Perfect turn undead formation. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, draw your holy symbols. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Initiative button? Thank you. Okay. And uh, everyone 
freaks out at the the large commotion and starts screaming, seeing the zombies. I think that's my lowest initiative rule. Get ready. <laughs> oh no, I think I'm gonna get to go before us. I'm gonna fucking dust them. <laughs> Zombie! <laughs> I hope there's another wave. Um, for their... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Tactical nuke inbound. Uh, so for their kind of surprise round, they just basically wounded the woman and, and the slave uh, and burst through and kind of moved in. And now initiative can resume normally, but you are seated with none of your weapons drawn. Remember that. I always have my holy symbol on me. Uh-huh. Of course. I need no weapon. Oh, and uh, I guess uh, I'll just move it, all the NPCs at zero. Mad Dog already had his sword out as he was brandishing it. Yeah, uh, he really has the nice sword. Yeah, it's magic, you know. Are you looking at it? He loves, loves to tell me. Alright, well, I mean... Can I stand up and get my bow out with my move back? Um... I... I mean... Mm, I think Oops. if if you're moving, you can pull out your weapon, but I don't know about standing up. I mean... Like, I, I can imagine it being difficult to do so from, like, prone, but legitimately good. Mm, I don't know. I think in this situation, you had your bow in a way that wasn't combat ready at all. So I think uh, it might take a little bit more time, especially to get your arrows out and stuff too. But you can free action command your uh, falcon. By the way, remember? Yeah, to not get involved. Yes. Still tell it, dude. I mean. Avis is currently eating beef jerky off the table. I think I'll let her. Okay. Keep oh, eating a... beef jerky off the table. Okay. Hawk so any... looks up and is like, that's not my job. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <sighs> no, no. Okay, I, so you... I, only, I only hunt animals. So you stand up and uh, draw your bow and knock an arrow? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Labars. Uh, immediately stand up and turn on dead. <laughs> uh, Re- rebuke and uh, dead. Rebuke. rebuke. Yeah. Rebuke yeah. and dead. I to say, step off my territory. That's true. That's true. I'm just jealous. I think um, I'm the only one that actually gets to turn on dead here. Everybody else is a re- filthy rebuker. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good rebuke. Uh, so cleric level plus three, so seven. Uh, I don't have the page up yet. I will get page to 160. it. Page one hundred sixty. Yep. We've had to go to it so many times. I definitely remember the page number. I just didn't have it up. This is more times I've like I've played a lot of D and D, and I've played quite a couple of clerics, and this is the most I've ever used to turn undead. <laughs> All right, so that is level plus two, so that's six. Uh. Uh, 19 is plus 3. Yeah. Oh, 19? Uh, yeah, seven. it is. So, 7. So, yeah, they're they're all under 7. So, now you roll damage. 2d6 plus cleric level plus charisma mod. 2d6. Oof. Wow. That is pretty nice. Um, 15 hit dice worth of undead. Um, you guys should uh, do like like macros for your turning. Just <laughs> just thinking of like how often it comes up. It's true. Um, so okay, so one, two, three. Okay, you tur- or rebuke three of them. 
does. So they cower in fear, right? Rebutes. Cowers as if in awe. Attack rolls get a plus two bonus. So I'll put a symbol on them. And they probably wouldn't approach. Or is cow yeah. There's something They're where just... if you actually, if you get closer to them, it breaks their turning, so... Yeah. Okay. Ty. I mean, I don't. I mean, I guess I can't really make it any worse. So, can I visibly see which ones already got turned so I don't waste myself? Turning, you have to target the the nearest. Okay. Yeah. Well, I ready Raw's great flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. No Raw's, Raw's flashlight. I need a new battery. <laughs> you you shake your holy symbol. You have to pull the back off and adjust the yeah. batteries. <laughs> I, I guess I'll use my move action getting my weapons ready. Okay. So you're sitting down, you have your weapons ready, and your holy symbol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brutus. I think that's just also going to be around. It's just like standing up and getting a... Getting your yeah. weapon out. Yeah. And your shield. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so this zombie back here is going to <clears throat> move up to Zugal. He sees 11. That's what you get. That's what you get for sitting near the door. Bomani. He's never without his weapons. Hmm. Go save that pussy. Yes, I... Yeah, that's, is that the bar wench that you want to fuck? Get some yeah, free cut right here. I will... Does it take any action to draw my Kopesh? Uh, yeah. It does. Okay. Just draw your fist, come on. Um, but if you, if you do a move action, you can draw your weapon as a free action. Like a gotcha. move, like where you are moving towards an enemy. Okay. So yeah, I'll go move and draw my... Oh wait, no, I don't have a Kopesh. I have a Blood Skimitar. Check real quick. Yeah, it's a scimitar. Masterwork. Okay, okay cool. I'll, I'll draw my sword and I'll. Mad Dog eyes your scimitar because he has a scimitar. <laughs> Is it I'll magic? Move. He he mumbles. I'll move up and I'll go to. Oh, ignored. Hack the Zam Zambo. I think oh, you're please. out of actions. Oh, am no? I? Okay. Um. Because, like, you had to stand up, unless you were drinking standing up. I don't know. Were you? Um, I don't think I would be. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you stood up and moved and drawed your weapon, drew your weapon yeah. along the way. All right, this zombie is rebuked. Uh, how long does that last? Oh, ten rounds. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Rebuke is a lot better than turning when it fails to command, though. All right. Put a thing there. Alright, so this guy, then that guy, he moves up to. Let's see. Hmm, he's going to mindlessly shuffle forward and provoke from you, uh, Bomani. Make an attack of opportunity if you wish. Bomani. The Bowman Wolf. We'll do it soon. Bowman Jango. He's probably got to look up his scimitar. <laughs> Bowman or Rooney? What am I mm -hmm. doing? Attack of opportunity and the zombie provoked. Word. They're called zombies because they go fast. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Um. Oh, you're you're learning. You're attacking with a slashing weapon. Exactly. You are a crafty man. That's the whole reason why I picked it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the zombie below you retaliates with a fourteen. That is a. I have this step. Yeah. That is a miss. Okay. Can I take a five foot step? Can I take a five foot step? Yes. Okay. And when I saw um, the wait, oh, 
I mean, you were techni- setting. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you can five foot set while prone. Technically prone. I actually think you can. Really? <laughs> I mean, do you want to do- look so ridiculous, Sugal? It'd be like you were doing like a belly flop. <laughs> we're doing a Max Payne slide to the side, burning hands out the door. Sure, I'll do that. And then I'll uh, energy missile five of these guys. Oh. With an extra, with an extra point uh, for four, to do 46. They roll the reflex or fortitude to take half damage. Alright, I'm going to have you roll concentration for this ridiculous maneuver. <laughs> But I'm not, why? I'm out of range. Uh, be, just because you're casting while jumping and doing like a belly flop and on the floor, and also the situation. Okay, I guess what's the point of a five foot step if it doesn't get you out of that, but okay. It's not as if you're in combat, it's not going to be that hard. Okay. It's a minor concentration because of the situation. Like beer is spilling on you as you knock over like a, uh, <laughs> a stool. Fifteen to it. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let me roll that damage then. That's going to be forty-six now because of the extra point. Oh, sorry, and it's fi- fire damage, so uh, that's forty-six plus four. Okay, so who who was this to? Um, the, was uh, the five closest uh, zombies. It shoots one missile at each. Wait, what? <laughs> this is the Asianic energy missile. Oh, I need to go look at it. I can't help you here, Ken. I know nothing about psionics. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, so energy missile. That seems crazy. <laughs> It is. seems exactly like why I think Sonics are dumb. Because <laughs> I've seen them. My dreams. <clears throat> uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh. Up to <laughs> five creatures? What the fuck? It doesn't say like one damage dice for each. They just all get hit by that. I mean, I can roll it five times if you want. No, but I mean, like, I'm thinking along the lines of something like Magic Missile, which sort of has comparable damage, where it would be like 1d4 to each target. So it's to split it, but no, it, it just deals the maximum damage to every target that fails. Oh, fuck. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, so here is their reflex save. <laughs> it is reflex, right? Um, or fortitude. Yeah, reflex or fortitude. I'm not... Uh, I think, I think fortitude be... applies to the cold damage. Okay, sweet. So you're doing fire, so they have to do a reflex. Um, so let's see. Uh... So oh. that'd be my manifest level uh, plus my character attribute, which is 4, so plus 10, so that'd be 18. Well, it's it's spell level plus okay. Sorry. Um, so it's caster 16, level. Then. Spell level? So... Wait, I thought they no, it's spell level plus tribute. your spell DC attribute. Okay, so that'd 10. be sixteen. So that'd be sixteen. Okay, that, that's more reasonable. I was about to fucking blow a cap. One. <laughs> well, one of them saves. So he gets ten instead of twenty. Okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, that's crazy. It's like Darth Sidious dive out of your chair. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this a long time, my little green friends. <laughs> Four and five. So yeah, um all the zombies hit look just almost entirely obliter- obliterated by this damage, um, but they are still alive and killing um where is mad dog on the initiative uh they they are all going to go at zero (sighs) oh he's not cool enough to have his own place was that what you're saying his dogs died yeah yep uh so yeah he's going to step forward being the only other person in here with a weapon 
as he already had it out. Uh, well, he'll stand up and then move. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of upset. Slave man doesn't even want to try to whip a zombie. <sighs> yeah. I mean, he's far too rich for this. I mean, he could find a new kink. I don't know. So everyone is freaking out and moving back. Commanding their slaves to protect them. <laughs> and Demaris, it's your turn. All right. Uh, gonna like rapid fire these two. Okay. Uh, it was thirty feet. Perfect. Just in rain. That point blank bonus. Wow. Two threes. High quality. They both hit. Oh. And high, you kill. You kill both of them. They are very easy to hit. Uh, actually, um, I th I think their damage reduction applies to piercing as well, right? What is their damage reduction? Um, dr five slashing. Yeah, I mean it's dr five unless it's slashing or above, which would mean that unless. Is Rosie's weapon magical? I think I don't actually. I don't remember if the hierarchy of damage resistance has magical above base type. I'm gonna say it doesn't. So yeah, I think the damage resistance would apply. Okay. All right. So um, let me just recalculate their stuff real quick. So five and three would. Uh, leave this one standing, the first one hit, but kill the other one. Okay. Damn it. If only I'd finished adding, uh, uh, serpent, serpent something arrows. <laughs> they do slash down. Oh, that, that's really cool. Serpent tongue, one. Okay, that was your full round action, the bars. Uh, I can never remember my spell DC. So it's ten plus spell level plus uh, your tribute. Right. Yeah, that sounds right. Of what you use, so mine would be charisma. Um, uh, I'm going to do control undead. And uh, I'm going to target these two. Okay. Uh, so basically what we decided was correct, right, Nick? Yes. Yeah. I just posted this and you can see it. Alright, uh, sorry Josh, what are you doing? Uh, casting control undead. Ooh, okay. Uh, this one uh, that one. If I if I'm reading this correctly, up to I two HD level of undead creatures, not two of which can be more than thirty feet apart. Yeah, let me just pull it up real quick, just to verify. Control undead is a level seven sorcerer spell. Is it? Wait. <laughs> Hold on, I, I buddy. It. How 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 did this happen? How could this happen? Look what has happened! <laughs> oh, Command Undead. I'm reading the wrong spell. Oh, Command Undead. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay. That is a different spell, apparently. Uh, oh, Command Undead. Okay, level 2. One undead creature. Duration, one day per level. That's sick. Uh, it perceives your will, treats you as friendly. Uh, Post, blah, blah, blah. So it basically just needs to do a will save, right? Uh, yes. Oh, an unintelligent gets no saving throw against this spell. Right, so... It is not intelligent. <laughs> Alright, 
so this the this guy down by the bay does he is he look pretty fucked up or still stable? Every single zombie is fucked up. Okay. Then just for safety's sake, I'll take control of this one. Okay. And make him start <laughs> order <laughs> Kind of just like ch channeling the negative energies through through myself. You can see it like latch onto that one by the maid and then immediately force it to start turning hey. towards the Turn others. Punch his friend. Yeah, to start literally trying to eat his allies All right. that are cowering there. All right, so yeah, on his turn he will uh, he will do that. So I'll put a marker on him. To Take a bite out of crime. Cool. So you do that successfully. Um, is that just a standard action? Do you want to do anything else? Uh, I think I'm good where I'm at. Hold, yeah, that's just full standard, so that pretty much eats up the majority of my time. Uh, and yeah, then you... I'll just pull out my scythe as I'm okay. standing. Perfect. I. Okay, so it's the first. It doesn't cost any additional right? Yes, the first diagonal doesn't cost any addition. So if I went from here along the edge to here, I wouldn't provoke, right? I'd just end up next to the zombie. Yeah. Wait, actually, I have a piercing weapon. Why am I even bothering? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just turn on that again. <laughs> okay. Full blast. I need to buy a club. Uh, hold on a sec. Someone's building a shed. Yeah, Rob. <laughs> Damn. Okay, well, the, yeah, that's definitely that's going to affect him, so roll damage. Guys, don't plus. beat your meat so hard, okay, man? Give it <laughs> some mercy. Plus. So it's. Was it Chris modifier plus. Yeah, okay. Plus I'm, I'm level? So, yeah. So. Oof. Oof. Fucking annihilated. <laughs> well, they are all turned. I'm going to run in fear. Uh, I, I don't think you get to choose which undead are turned. I think you turn Z Josh's zombie too. Yep. If they're all there, he just runs. Um, closest turn of undead first. You cannot turn undead that are not six feet away from you. Maybe the conflicting powers just rip him in half. <laughs> It'd be fun. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Uh, like, it's still under Josh's control, but it's just going to run away for now. <laughs> From me. Yes. Take okay. a pot any, shot uh, as he runs. <laughs> any move action time? I will stand up. Okay. You did all that from seating, like. Uh, that's, uh, that's just funny. To me. I mean, I didn't get to stand up last round. I mean. You're like, I needed to finish my beer. <laughs> I'm like. Look at the holy symbol I'm drinking. I'm like, oh yeah, darn undead. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Brute. What do you do? Brute. Do you wish to run and leap, like jump onto up onto the table and leap off it and do like a downward strike? Oh, I'm gonna get spill my table. alcohol. I'm gonna get on the table and I'm gonna do a very familiar thing. Okay. We've seen it all before. All right. Uh, so you spill uh, only Bumani's drink. No. <gasps> I will have to pay for another one. <laughs> you make a mental note as you leap off the fucking table. <laughs> Bomani will remember this. I will also remember this as I so, stroll my way up. I will count this as a charge. Fly through the air. Weapons. Yeah. I need weapon a one. A total of plus four to hit. This. I no longer have. I well, know I have weapon focus. That's right. A total of plus four to hit. No flanking. Plus four. Ugh. Okay. That definitely hits, and you kill the zombie. I would like to cleave. You may. I think it's just another hit, right? Yeah, you just do the or uh, um, like I don't think you use the, your charge bonuses, but you do get a plus two because he's cowering. Slash, yeah, think bigger. of it like you're doing a zombie chain letter. You know, you're just sending yeah. it to another one. 
Yep, you you kill two of them. You cleave them through. As um, the slave on the ground next to you, like breathes shakily, and blood is seeping out of his wounds. Hmm. I don't know. Hey, could I heal a slave? I didn't actually think of this. Mm -hmm. Would you heal? The I'd, I'd say yes. I would stabilize the slave. I would not like waste my gods, all of my gods. I would make sure the slave didn't bleed out if I had the time. Bomani, it's your turn. This zombie below you seems friendly. <laughs> <laughs> you could literally just see the fucking dark energy clawing. Yeah. Through it. He gives you a thumbs he up. Can, I can <laughs> yeah. I can use flurry of blows with other weapons, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, monk weapons. Yeah. I don't That's think it's some monks are. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think. I will actually go look. They might be monks are weird. Maybe, well, but... I see monks are proficient with Ugh. certain basic peasant weapons and some special weapons. Club, light crossbow, hand axe, javelin, kama, nunchaku, quarterstaff, sai, shuriken, sarigam, and slank. Nope. Swords okay. are not really a monk thing. Gotcha. Right. So I'll go to slash the zambo in front of me. Okay. Okay, it hits and you kill it. It falls down into a rotten heap. Alright, um, you have a move action. Bolani. Oh, no, I'm a, I'm a hold position. Okay. So the zombie will run. <laughs> Scared zombie, what the hell is this? <laughs> uh, Bomani, you could attack of opportunity it, but you know that it's controlled by Labaris. I have no it's up to you. Oh, okay. If you wish. Yeah, see, Ty's strobe light is frightening them. I'm no, switching my sorry. holy symbol on and off. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Kill him now. Uh, but you do only get one attack of opportunity, and this, this next zombie is gonna go. Okay. Well, possibly. That is right. Without combat reflexes, you only get one a turn. <laughs> I mean, that's assuming Zugal just doesn't fucking mind fuck them to death. <laughs> Zugal, Sorry, you did. Uh, I'm just gonna stand up and draw my quarter. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, the uh, he's done his cool thing of the day. Yeah, doing twenty damage to five targets. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's, it's over. <laughs> right, um, what was that conversation we had with Ben when you decided yes. to get this character? Yes. I, told, uh, okay. I told you very <laughs> specifically that um, it would be incredibly strong. Yep, I, I'm eating my, my uh, yeah. Hmm. All right, Bomani, here's make an opportunity attack. Bomani, Bo, Bo, Bomani. There it is. You hit and kill it. Uh, so, actually, haven't been marking these guys bleeding out on the ground. Uh, so they're at three rounds now. And um, some other stuff happens. Uh, we'll probably end here, but uh, so as you all take a, a moment to breathe and the people in the bar cowering kind of like look up from behind their tables or chairs um you all feel this strange wave it feels like a wave washing through each of your bodies of this dark negative energy um can I make a knowledge planes te test uh be more not, this is more like, kind of on the religion side, I guess. Because, like, they I deal in positive it. and negative energy. Uh, you deal in more, like, elemental and, and stuff like that. Um, mm. But you do feel, like, you all feel this very, very real unnerving feeling as it washes through you. 
and um, out of this sarcophagus, uh, something pops out. Who the fuck brought a sarcophagus in here? <laughs> Someone from the auction. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to stab that merchant when this is over. She's looking fine. Yes. That guy Be right there. I'm going to yeah. literally stab him. Like, this because... is disgusting. He brought a whole sarcophagus and a dead person back up from his expedition. Yeah. Uh, he may have... Yeah, so... You may have heard him talking about how it was a, uh, a definitely empty sarcophagus. You know, and, and wanting to sell it whole. Uh, but yes, he mm -hmm. did bring yeah. one in. I, yeah, I mean, I, I know the Egyptians were so well known for keeping elaborate golden sarcophaguses empty of all corpses. <laughs> Isn't and that right? also, some, some other stuff also at this moment pops through some of the windows and uh, starts coming through the doorways as well. And they are... <gasps> No! No! They had us in there. My, My hand! hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm packing it in. I'll see you guys yeah. later. It's a it's a good note to to end on. My but, hand. My are hand. there legitimately a bunch of hands coming in? Yes, and so the thought crosses all of your minds that in the market right outside. Um, this tavern, there's a post where they they hang up hands that they cut off of thieves in the market. So, They're I, will let, I will let you do the math. Oh, my hand. My hand. My hand. I think that barman's gonna bleed out now. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely think she's about to... <laughs> no. Hey, can I always try I'll playing I'll the I'll alpha I'll up her wound with my penis. Oh god. I mean, I could just toss. I could just toss the wand to cure light wounds across the room. Do you think you can just zap her? I like really my idea better. That <laughs> <laughs> I'll mm. stop the bleeding, honey. What did you find? Some bandages? No, I'm gonna put my dick in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put my dick in there. <laughs> right. I'll have Perfect. a good night, guys. Yeah, good night, Andrew. Know. Bleeding, oh, stop, honey. It feels really weird. Why <laughs> go find some bandages instead of putting your penis in me this morning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I feel it. I'm enjoying this. Please, no, I, I, stop. I need this. I need this now. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> please I need, stop. I need medical attention. Oh my God. Stop. <laughs> So, did you guys have a have a good session? Did you enjoy it? Was it fun? Uh, yes. Yeah. So 